Hello, good people, and welcome to Money Matters with Excel. Here, we share tips and tricks on how you can use Microsoft Excel to manage your finances. In our previous episode, we learned how to store your financial transactions in a table. We went on to learn how you can simply calculate your total income and your total expenditure. If you missed that video, you can click on the video above to watch and recap. We'll take it a step further this episode to learn how to create a dynamic drop down so that when you select income in your table it shows you all the classes of income when you select expense it shows you all the classes of expenses so you can assign and categorize all your financial transactions join me in excel and let's go through this in some few minutes so here we have our sample financial transactions data in our previous episode, we learned how to lay this out, the headers, and then we learned how to calculate the total income, total expense, and the net income from this table. So ideally, we will add on to this table, but when we are entering the data, we would want a situation where if we choose income or expense in this particular column, okay, it should throw up the unique list of categories or classes under income or expense to make it easier for us to categorize and also to avoid errors. This has already been done, but we will learn how to set this up if you are doing this from scratch. So for this purpose, let me rename this column category to make it easier for us to calculate. And I'm going to rename this sheet transactions. So Alt H O R. Okay. Then we name this transactions. The reason I'm doing that is we are going to create another worksheet that is going to house our unique income and expense classes. So to make it easier, I'm going to duplicate this worksheet. So I'll click inside there, hold down control, and then I'll drag it onto my right. Okay, so that's how you duplicate a worksheet. So this is going to be renamed as category or categories like this. Okay, and I'm going to delete these three columns. Okay, and also get rid of this Alt H E A to clear. Okay, Alt I C to insert a column. So here I'm going to create a register, sort of. Now it has duplicates, so let me just highlight this, go down, Control Backspace, and I'll come to Data to remove the duplicates. In the Data Tools, you see this option to remove duplicates. So I'll click here because it's a table, it gives me the headers I'm deleting the duplicates from. I'll click OK. And then now I have my category and type. Okay, normally when you are setting this up, you start with the categories and then it follows the you start with the categories and you follow up with the type. So let me swap this. So I'll just hold this and then just swap this like that so that I can add on. So this is your unique register. Of your income and expense classes now what we want to do is to create this dynamic drop down here but before we do that we are going to extract the unique elements in the type column so we are going to use one of the new functions unique okay and then we select this column okay and then it gives us income and expense what we are trying to do is to set up a lookup Okay, so that it can always spell the elements in the category. We want this to go across instead of going down. So we are going to use another function called transpose. So transpose will now make this go to the right. So this is going to be our headers, right? And here I'm going to bring down in a dynamic way all the unique classes under expense. So to do that, we are going to use the filter function. So equal to filter, okay, filter requires your array. The array is the result you are looking for. The result I'm looking for are the categories. So I'm going to select this. Okay, I'll bring my comma. I'll go on to the include part, which is sort of the criteria. So here, the criteria is when the type that I have selected is equal to expense, okay, then bring the corresponding categories. There's an option to put in something if it's empty or returns an error so i'll bring a comma and put in a double quote for blank 
So this gives me just the expense classes, right? To save us time, I'll just copy the first one. This is a spill range. So come here, Control Alt V, okay, to show you the pay special dialog box. And then F or you select formulas. And then you also have the income classes here. So what this means is if I add on, of course, I'm going to get this. But the reason we are here is to look up these items and then use it as a data validation in the transactions area. So we are going to use the XLOOKUP. Okay, so what XLOOKUP is going to do is that if in the transactions table, let's say we put in income, okay, it should bring up these guys. If we put in expense, it should bring up these guys. So equal to XLOOKUP. My lookup value is this. Okay. My lookup array is this spilled range. So G5 hash it will go across because it's a spilled range. And I'll bring my comma. My return array is going to be this one. Okay. Now, if I close this, it's going to give me the first instance of income. Okay. But if I come back to my formula and then I put a hash, it will spill down and then give me this list if i change this to expense okay then i have this so it is this that we are going to put in our data validation if you understand this we just take that same knowledge into the transactions page so now let's come here so we are going to run our data validation here now before we do that let's set up the income and expense here first so under data data tools data validation or you can do alt dl and then change this from any value to a list and just put in expense comma income right to make it easier for you to choose whether this is an expense or income now what we want to do is that if we choose anything here that x lookup function should kick in to give us that spilled range so i'll highlight this entire range okay and then alt dl to launch the x lookup and then i'll bring my list and then I'll start equal to X lookup. My lookup value is this, but because we are going down, I'm going to use F4, F4 to lock it just at the column level so that the rows can go down. Okay. Then our lookup array is back in the category sheet. This one, I'll select these two. Okay. And then my my result array is going to be this first level and then I'll close this okay and then I'll hash just as we did so that I can spell down and I click OK okay so what's going to happen now is if you are entering your transactions and you choose expense and then you come here this should give you just the expenses okay if you come here and then you choose income okay you just have the income here so as usual, this is dynamic. So if it happens that you add on to that unique register, um, as an example, let's add another expense. And then you call this expense. Okay, so this updates. And then when you come here, you realize that if I change this, you realize that if I come here and I change this to expense, okay, I now have another expense pop up here for me to assign okay so we are making progress but this is just to show you the right way to set it up so that when you enter transactions you avoid errors and you can easily analyze which we'll be doing in our next episode so please practice and add it to your financial management tips if this video helped you please share you can also send add to our whatsapp number we'll add you to our broadcast list or you can visit our YouTube channel and watch our previous episodes. Thank you so much for watching.